Hey guys, Brian here with Wolf's Prairie Outdoors. Today we're going to start doing a series of upgrades on our Marlin 1894 CST. And we're going to break this series up into multiple videos because the majority of people are not going to watch a very long video on the installation of a lot of different parts. So we will do an installation for each part or two parts depending on how it works out. But we want to keep the video short and sweet so you guys can work them in while you're taking a break at work or whatever. So let's have a look at the parts we're going to be installing. In this series of videos, we're going to be installing the Ranger Point Precision Medium Loop Lever, the Ranger Point Precision Trigger Kit, the Ranger Point Precision Loading Gate, and the Ranger Point Precision Mag Follower. Additionally, we're going to be installing the Midwest Industries M-Lock Handguard. And last but certainly not least, we're going to be installing the new Hoptic USA Longbow Quiver that holds six additional rounds of 357 or 38 Special. Okay guys, for the first episode of this series, we're gonna be installing the Ranger Point Precision Medium Loop Lever. So let's get started. First and foremost, make sure your gun's unloaded. We've got a chamber flag in here, so I know there's nothing in it. I'm gonna remove that so that I can work on this gun. Okay, now with the chamber flag removed, you wanna bring your lever to about halfway. Then get a hollow ground screwdriver. If you don't have a hollow ground one, at least tape the end so that when you slip out of the screw, you won't mar your finish up. We're going to remove the lever screw and have a parts tray handy so that you can drop your screws in them. Now we're going to remove the lever and that's all there is to removing your lever. So now let's look at the variations in the levers. So here's your traditional boxy squared off lever that comes on all of your standard rifles. It has a very small opening. I can get three fingers in there, but I have large size hands. And if I have a glove on, it's going to be a tight fit for sure. The Ranger Point Precision Medium Loop Lever has an enlarged trigger finger area, as well as a slight swell on the lever itself for the opening in the fingers. As you can see, I can get my fingers in here just fine, and I can easily get a glove on to use this lever, and it looks really nice. Lastly is the Wild West Style Loop Lever. It has a much larger opening, which is much more conducive to wearing large gloves when you're up north. It would be an excellent fit for that. And I like the way it looks, but since my wife is also going to be using this rifle, the Ranger Point Precision Medium Loop Lever is an excellent middle ground for us because we can both run this gun with no problems. It's going to be an excellent fit for us, I'm sure. So to install the Ranger Point Precision Medium Loop Lever, we're going to have to remove the finger lever plunger out of our original lever so that we can use it on the new one. So I'm going to get my armorer's block. And on here, there's a small pin that is just under a sixteenth of an inch diameter. So you can file down a punch if you want to, or I have a very tiny nail here. Okay, so I'm going to set a cloth in front of it. In case it does fly out, it shouldn't. I've got my little nail instead of a punch. And we're going to drive it home. Take it easy. Go slow. Don't want to mess things up. And now I have driven the pin out and my nail is retaining the plunger. I will save my pin, put it in my parts container, and now I'm gonna push the plunger down with my thumb, remove the nail, and ease the tension off with my thumb, and now the plunger is here and loose, and you want to remember your orientation. You want it to be able to slide into the plunger retaining pin, so you need this taper angled in this direction with the flat side on the bottom. There's my spring. That's all there is to this little guy. You can take this opportunity to clean it up a little bit if you want. I'm going to clean it and oil it and I'm also going to put some oil down in the new hole on the new lever. Okay, now I'm going to take my finger lever plunger, put it in my parts bin. I'm going to take my new medium loop lever and I'm going to put a little bit of oil on a Q-tip. And I'm just going to dab a little bit in there just for good measure. You want to make sure things are nice and lubricated. Okay, now, if this is an extremely stiff spring, you can trim a coil off. I wouldn't trim any more than that. I would trim one at a time until I get it where I like it. But for now, I'm going to leave it stock and make sure I'm happy with the way things are and I may change it in the future. This little shelf right here is what the retaining pin, if I can pick it up, 
rides on to keep it from sliding too far out. Okay, now that we're ready to put this thing together, I put a little drop of oil inside the plunger here, and that will help lubricate the spring. And now, I'm going to insert the finger lever plunger spring and plunger back into the hole, making sure the flat side is down so that the pin can retain the plunger. So now, push that in with my thumb, and I'm gonna put it in from the back side the way it came out because the pin does have a slight flare to it. So, get that nice and straight, put that back in as far as I can. Okay, it's retaining. Now I'm gonna use a larger punch to drive this thing home. Goes in a lot easier than it comes out. Okay guys, we're ready to install the medium loop lever, but first I wanna take a moment and show you something. I'm gonna pull my bolt out. When you pull the bolt assembly out, you'll see on the bottom there is a groove. That is where the end of the lever goes into in order to run the bolt when you actuate the lever. So that's what you're aiming for. It can be difficult to see, that's why I pulled it out because the carrier gets in the way. Now I'm gonna reinstall the bolt. And you wanna have this about midway with the loading gate. So now, I'm gonna slide this bad boy up in there. You can see the bolt move a little bit when I do. Now that I'm in there, I'm gonna get my screw started. I like to run the screw in reverse instead of going straight for running it in until I feel that slight slip as the threads drop into position. That way you know you're set and ready to go. There's no need to go fast with this, guys. All you do is risk marring your finish if you slip out of the hole on the screw. It's important to keep that screwdriver centered in the slot. That way you're not gonna have any issues. This bad boy is running nicely. Okay guys, that's all there is to install in this. Super simple, quick and easy. It takes a little longer to film it because I got to set up for all the different shots. Dad's helping me on the other side of the camera. Greatly appreciate that. But now, as you can see, lever's installed. It looks great, very nice and sleek, and it actuates very nicely. I like that smaller closing, especially for here in the South. I don't have to worry about big gloves. So this just eliminates a little less lag time getting to the other side of the lever in order to actuate it. And when seconds count on that follow-up shot, it's nice to have that millisecond. <laughs> really is a nice lever though. I like the way it looks. I think it's gonna do great. I do feel a slight bit of stiffness from that uh, plunger, but I felt that on the other one. and. I'm probably gonna end up cutting a coil in the future. I'm not sure. If I do, I'll bring you back for that and we'll show you what we do and how it works out for us. One nice thing is it's contoured very, very well. There's no rough spots or anything that's gonna cause you to get cut or blisters like some of the older Remlins that came out were. Uh, just, it looks really good on the rifle, I think. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to check back in the description. As we do more installations, we will put the links in the description below for all the videos in this series. So no matter what video you're on, you can always reference where the other ones are at if you wanna see the rest of the installs done in this series. So again, hope you guys like it. Give us a big thumbs up if you like what you see. Check back often and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Have a good one, guys.